Chattanooga police increased the reward for information leading to the arrest of a man who shot a police officer three times. CPD is now offering $6,500. Police say they are currently trying to follow any leads they have. CPD says the officer was searching an abandoned home off Mission Avenue yesterday when he was shot. The suspect is described as a black male, 5'10", with a medium build. Police say he was wearing dark pants, a white shirt with a dark sweatshirt that had cursive writing on the front. Police say someone matching that description was spotted near CSA forcing the school to go on lockdown as students were dismissed yesterday. Some parents flooded social media pleading for answers as they waited to find out what was going on inside the school. Stephanie Sanasazi spoke with parents today about what has them frustrated. Stephanie. Kevin and Trisha, police placed CSAS on lockdown after 3 o'clock yesterday, but some parents say they were left in the dark. They're happy their kids were safe, but aren't happy with how the situation was communicated. Police cars and SWAT surround the Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. Inside the building, students told their parents they hid in their classrooms with their teachers. It's scary because you don't know what's going on. Paula Wilkes is a CSAS parent and also the president of the PTSA. Her 11th grade daughter was inside the school. It's very nerve wracking, um, crazy. You know, me and things run through your head trying to find out what's going on. The most difficult part, Wilkes says, finding out what happened through her friends on Facebook. I would have liked to have known something was going on prior to seeing it on social media. She appreciates the teachers and administrators that were busy protecting her child and hundreds of others, but she wishes the Hamilton County Department of Education alerted her right away. So some parents got HCDE notifications, some didn't. This is part of the message some parents got more than an hour and a half after police arrived at the school. Parents, we are very sorry that no message has gone out to this point. Personnel has been doing everything to make sure your student is safe. School board member Tiffany Robinson says the communication went out to parents as quickly as it could. As a parent myself, I totally understand the communication piece. Um, I think that there were two factors playing. One, that everything had to happen very quickly. And the other is that HTD couldn't control the information that needed to be sent out because it was coming directly from the police. However, even as a board member, she first learned about the lockdown through through social media. Wilkes doesn't want to point fingers, but just wants HCDE to understand where she's coming from. I would like to see in the future better communications from the school system. We reached out to the central office today asking for clarification on what exactly happened. A spokesperson told us, quote, we sent out the alert as promptly as possible. Latricia. Stephanie, thank you. Police say after their search, there was no indication that the suspect in the CPD shooting was ever at CSAS. Most students got to leave around 530 yesterday evening.